Y'all, it's too many scandals going out with these pastors, y'all. Too much going on. I told y'all, I said it last week, if not the week before, about these false teachers, these false prophets, these false uh, preachers. If y'all don't pray and ask God for the gift of discernment, bruh, hold on. Pray and ask God for the gift of discernment, bruh. Because... (laughs) Y'all be just sitting under whatever and don't, and just, some of y'all blind, some of y'all ain't blind. Some of y'all see it, and y'all still still support it, be up under it, sew into it, a whole bunch of stuff. Not her, me, she. No. I don't sit under foolishness. I don't, if I get any teaspoon of any witchcraft stuff, any type of demonic stuff you're doing, any type of stuff that's not of God, if I get any teaspoon of that, I'm out. I don't play. I've been in churches where, <laughs> I got to be careful how I word this, the the leader was sleeping with all of the women in the church and still does to this day. Not going to say their name, not going to say where they at, but slept with half of them. And I have receipts. Not me personally, but I mean, I've, I've seen the receipts. Excuse me, let me say that. I've seen the receipts. And I seen it firsthandly. The person actually tried to hit on a friend of mine. And I seen it with my own eyes in the middle of service. I said, nope, we out. I don't play with stuff like that. So if y'all continue to sit in churches where pastors is, is doing stuff like that, I have no sympathy for you. I'm not praying for you. I'm not. Because you know better. You know better. You know better. For the, the, the women or the men, whoever, that be messing around with the pastors or the prophets or the, 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 the leaders, whoever, whoever it is. The fact that y'all doing it for money, it says a lot about you. If you know that leader, excuse me, if you know that leader is married and you still trying to mess, I have no sympathy for you. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Don't ask me to pray for you. Don't ask me. No. Because you need to be sat down. You need to repent. You need to get delivered. You need. No. And if you know the pastor, the leader been doing this for years, and you steady in that church, I'm looking at you. I ain't looking at him. I'm looking at you. Why are you still there? Why are you still sitting up under that demonic, perverted ministry? That's why I stay in the house. That's why I say I can't sit up in the, under everybody. I can't watch everybody. I can't listen to everybody. I do not go to everybody's church. If I, I lit the people who know me, if I hear the voice of God say, go here, travel here, drive here, there is something there for me. And there's something for me to see and encounter every single time. Well, sometimes it could just be, I need to see something for a confirmation of something that I told you a while back. But every single time something happens and I'd be like, "Mm, thank you, God. All right, cool. I see that. All right. Thank you for the confirmation. It was a pastor that I wanted to see or a prophetess, excuse me, that I wanted to see. And that person just happened to be at a church around the corner. I said, okay, well, let me go around the corner. Check out. So glad I did. Because I got up and left. I don't play that, y'all. If any of y'all see me walk up in a church, your church, <laughs> and I and I see foolishness, and if you see me get up and walk out, it's the reason. And that's all I'm going to say. There's only maybe about a handful of people. I want to say their names, but I, I don't... Mm-mm. But I, I believe they know who they are, that whatever service that they're at, whatever church they're at, I'm going to be there in support because I know that they are pure and I know they fear God and they teach that Bible and they have no shame if they need to repent, if they need to, you know what I'm saying? They, they like true people, true men and women of God. It's only when I say about a handful about a handful. Five. 
Other than that, I ain't got time. But God really is exposing. And he keep exposing. And he keep exposing. And I don't understand when God keep exposing. Some of y'all be like, well, it ain't for us to judge. It ain't da-da-da. The flesh is weak and this and this, this, this. Stop giving excuses. Because God is doing this for a reason. Take heed of it. And get out. So, y'all better start repenting. If y'all don't get it together, I repent daily, y'all. I ain't even have to have, had to have not done anything that day. I'm still going to repent, Lord, if I even thought something impure or negative. Oh, it cleanse me. I repent. I repent. <sighs> because I'm scared of the Lord. I'm scared. You hear me? I just, I, 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 I can't. I can't. Even if I think something inappropriate, y'all. Because I'm a human. And the flesh is weak. Even if I think of something inappropriate or impure. I'm repenting. <laughs> repenting. Lord, please forgive me. Help me. Cleanse my mind. Let let your thoughts be my thoughts. <laughs> Cause right now, let your thoughts be my thoughts, Lord. Let me keep my mind stayed on you, Heavenly Father. <laughs> I'm about to end this because I'm done. I love y'all. Bye. Have a good night. And stay in the house. Amen. Praise God.